You're looking to buy and sell at the same time. Does that task feel super, super daunting? I'm sure it does. I have been there myself and I know it's super difficult just to do one of those things, buy or sell at one time, but buying or selling and selling at the same time can seem super overwhelming. Well, I want you to know I got you. I've helped hundreds of people in your position buy and sell homes simultaneously and I've got it down. Well, I'm Melissa Shaw of Lewis Realtors and I've served hundreds of people over my two decades in this specific situation. And there's a lot of details that go into uh, making sure that this is a super smooth move for you. And I wanna offer you a few tips today on how to make that transition a little bit easier. First of all, I would know what you're looking for in your new home. Knowing what you're looking for and really fine tuning what you're looking for is really gonna ease you in the transition when you're ready to put your home on the market. But at the same time, simultaneously, you're going to wanna to be getting your home ready for sale. By that, I mean decluttering, getting rid of um, things that are not, that you're not using on a daily basis, pre-packing, so to speak. So by pre-packing, you're actually doing a lot of the legwork because typical close dates are 30 days, maybe 45 days, and you don't have a lot of time to do that when you're buying and selling. You've got enough other things to contend with. So the more that you can pre-pack upfront is just going to work to your advantage and give you less stress. It'll also prepare your home for sale at the same time. So when you're preparing your home for sale, you'll wanna have less clutter, depersonalize. Due to your decluttering and everything that you're doing to prepare your home for sale, I would plan for taking photos on a sunny day if possible. So getting your photos ready so you're ready to list when you find that perfect home is also another recommendation I have for you to make your process on buying and selling more seamless. Because typically, you, when you write an offer on a property, you have to list your home within a certain period of time. Usually standards three to five days, but if you're ready to go, that puts less pressure on you, less stress on you, and it's just all the prep is done up front from the marketing, everything's done, and you can find that home and put your, your home on the market live. So that'll really help you. Renting back is another thing that you should know about when you're buying and selling. Now, it can be negotiated. It doesn't always work out, but I'm in this to get you your desired results and a stress-free move. So getting possession after closing could really help you and avoid you having to move twice. And by that, I mean, you can negotiate rent back possession after close on your current home. This allows you to get the proceeds from your home and then if you need that down payment for your next home, it allows you to put that down payment down and it also allows you to cover maybe some moving expenses, but then it also gives you time to get the moving truck there and get your, get your belongings out of your home and move to your new home, again, without having to move twice. The other thing that you'll wanna consider and take note of is making sure that your close date are aligned pretty simultaneously. Now it is possible to close on the same day on both properties and I'm really diligent about corresponding and communicating with both sides and also the listing agent, the lenders, title companies to make sure that things go really super smooth for you. Um, so more often than not, it's usually a day apart, but it is possible to have it happen the same day. The other thing I would recommend is no contingencies. Um, when you're looking to sell your home, you don't want any contingencies on your home. By that, what I mean is you don't want a buyer that's buying your home that has a home to sell contingency or usually a home to close contingency. Now, there are some exceptions to that rule. Um, you know, you might have a cash buyer that is past all the 
inspection contingencies on the home and they're closing within a few days. But a general rule of thumb is you don't want to accept a contingency on your home to sell. Why is that? That just adds another layer of risk to the, the home that you're trying to purchase. And it may not get you that dream home if you have a contingency. So book a call with me today by clicking the link below so I can get all your questions answered. And remember, your moving needs will always be my highest priority.